Was geht ab? Mm. Hey. hey, your president, he said you have 250,000 jobs, yeah, in Germany. <laughs> so you guys, you have to apply these jobs so that you can come to Germany, yeah? 250,000 jobs for you, yeah? Kenyans, only Kenyans, 250,000 jobs. And then yesterday I was telling you about uh, how Kenyan schools here in Kenya, they are... Uh, taking advantage of students who wants to go to Germany, they have increased the fees, <laughs> tuition fees for German language, yeah? And then someone told me that uh, at Mount Kenya University, they offer German language, but it's it's much cheaper, like 20,000 plus per module, or the all course, I don't know. So you can go there and check, or you can go to German uh, Institute of Professional Studies, where I studied my language, yeah? And you need a form for a uh, certificate, no, no, uh, the photocopy for a uh, uh, resort slip or form for certificate. You need uh, you need a, a passport photo, and then you need uh, you need also a caution fee. Yeah, only that, and then you can enroll. After you enroll, you have graduated or you have gotten your uh, certificate in German B1 uh, B1 or B2. I think B2 is is much better. Yeah, because for me. I did my German until A2, and then when I arrived in Germany, <laughs> I saw fire in Stuttgart, yeah? From the train ticket, how to buy train tickets, how to uh, communicate, like you want this and this, or you have already paid for something and they want uh, you to pay again. So it was very hard for me to communicate, but after like six months in Germany, I learned the language and then I was able to, able remix I was able to communicate fluently in Dutch language so there are uh, places where you can uh, apply for these jobs once you have done your B1 certificate German government said you need to follow the right procedure your government has not signed anything about 250,000 jobs in Germany so you have to follow the right procedure and that uh, right procedure is going back to school here in Kenya do your Dutch language until B1 or B2 and then you can apply for these jobs in Germany. Now, according to Diaspora Affairs Principal Secretary, hmm, Rosalind Njogo, not me, according to your government, <laughs> she outlined uh, to Kenyans a list of websites where, websites where you can apply for these jobs. And the first website where you can apply for these jobs is Make It in Germany dot com make it i think i'll write here on the screen make it in germany dot com yeah these are among other websites where kenyans can uh, find opportunities aligning with their overall career goals yeah and then we have uh, another one it's called deutschland.de deutschland.de so i'll write the spellings on the screen because a lot of you are confusing these words deutschland the spelling you might get it a little bit difficult but we have a lot of websites where you can apply for these jobs uh, and then especially if you've done ID, uh, IT I almost say ID IT nursing you are at higher chances of getting jobs in Germany because IT experts in Germany they are like the hot cake and then nursing and then now we have this doctor in Germany now like my doctor uh, house arts, house arts. My house doctor is very old, like 60 years. In the next five years, I think five years, he'll go in retirement. And then the younger generation in Germany, they don't want to work hard, they, they just want to go for job office, I get some files, I, I hang here and there, I go drink beer, go home. They haven't studied the language very. Uh, deep and then the worst thing in Germany the government will choose your career path because after I think uh, primary school or secondary school if you are clever they take you to this side if you're not that, uh, that clever they take you to this side where you can do house building and other small small courses if you are clever they take you to university where you can do medicine nursing blah 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 so in Germany uh, your career path is determined by the government <laughs> <laughs> bureaucracy <laughs> hey German people so it's good and then we have hub for africa dot Bayern 
I'll write on the screen also so that if you want uh, it's raining oh, it's raining let me finish this uh, vlog so if you want to, uh, to apply for jobs in Germany once you have a B1 B2 certificate it's more easier than if you don't have anything yeah and then you can apply for opportunity card but I'll explain in the next video the difference between opportunity card in Germany and the green card in the US very different to those are two different things so people think that opportunity card is like green card you just go on website you you you, you jazz your things there blah 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 you finish and then you wait for for a call or email <laughs> totally different Germany is totally different bureaucracy <laughs> Uh, and then we have the uh, make it in Germany portal where you can go apply for these uh, jobs if you are in IT if you are in uh, anything like your career path you can choose something from the website and then uh, once you are uh, you get accepted you can now move to Germany and then we have Deutschland.de yeah but for us who are in Germany it's always uh, easy for us to get jobs in Germany. Like, you just go to Indeed. We have a lot of websites. Not, not websites, but just uh, online. Just Google. We, we even have these... Uh, I, I, I'm stayed in Kenya now until I've forgotten. Uh, Kleine... Uh, what? You can get these jobs very easily once you are in Germany. I'll tell you in the next video. So we have Hub for Africa, Bayern, and then we have uh, other uh, website, but... These ones you need to be in Germany. So I'll let you know more about these websites once I get the full information. But I think there are only like four or three websites where you can apply for these jobs when you're in Kenya. But when in Germany, we have a lot of websites when you're in Germany. Like you just go to, uh, hey, hey, it's raining very bad. So you, you, uh, you just go to uh, online, you look for job, you fill in your uh, date of birth, names, uh, address, and then your phone number. And then, like, you can apply job right now. In the next three hours, if you have, like, nursing in Germany, you need to have, like, a course in Germany, yeah? When you go to Germany, don't just sit around. Because you're in Germany, you are very comfortable, yeah? I'm in Germany, so what else? Go back to school. Do something like, uh, not house building, like... You can you, you, even if you are a nurse, you can advance your studies. Have like another a diploma on top of your diploma. <laughs> yeah, in Germany you can study even for six months. You have a diploma. One year you have a diploma. Uh, two years you have a diploma. Dep uh, remix diploma. Three years, five years, like like that. It depends with your career. So once you arrive in Germany, make sure you go back to school. It's so good when when you go back to school, so that when you go to website. When you are applying for jobs, you are applying according to your uh, course, yeah? And then, if you are new in Germany, my friend, you have to suffer because your job will be Lager Arbeit and is a kosha washa, is it wanga, that is a saw is a kosha washa, nina nini, but you can maneuver. Once you are in Germany and you speak, you are fluent in German, you can maneuver very easily. In Germany, they don't uh, care if, if you have papers or no. Once you show some leadership in you, they just take it from there like hey my friend come tomorrow uh, you are the team lighting team lighting is like a team leader and then you'll be giving instruction to this and this and this before you know after three years your salary is good because in germany they take years as experience like after one year they increase your salary after two years they increase your salary after five years like that so you'll find that someone has never gone to school he has like a certificate in uh, nursing like that one year diploma certificate in nursing but since you have worked in a certain company for like five years ten years your salary is more than someone who will go to germany study for diploma or degree in nursing and then they uh start working uh at the same job where you're working they'll be earning little money but for you the certificate will be, will be earning a lot of money man so come to germany yeah apply these jobs and then welcome to germany germany is a good land yeah no racism. Don't uh, rely on people that there's racism in Germany. No, no, no. Germany is a nice place. You can relax, mind your business, go to work, pay your bills. Uh, once you are, you don't pay bills in Germany, shufa. You have shufa. So you can never buy anything online. 
Hey Germany, welcome to Germany. So I see the next one. In the next video, I'm telling about the difference between an opportunity card and the a green card. So, bye bye.